Hi everyone, Tom here from Frontend Beginners, and in this video, we'll look at how to add CSS styles to our HTML elements using the ID attribute. The ID attribute is a global identifier which must be unique in the whole HTML document. In other words, when giving a specific HTML element an ID attribute, that ID must be unique and cannot be used on multiple elements. In my simple example here, I have my heading followed by three paragraph elements. To give the first paragraph a unique ID, we go into its opening P tag, type a space, followed by the word ID. Next, we type an equals sign, followed by a pair of quotes. Inside the quotes, we give our element its unique ID name. For this example, I'm going to give my first paragraph an ID of first dash paragraph. Note that I'm using paragraph elements for this simple example, but you can add ID attributes in the exact same way to any other HTML element, such as a div, h1, anchor link, and so on. To add CSS styles to our HTML using the ID attribute, we first need to target the ID. To do this, we need to use the ID selector. So over in our CSS, I'll begin by typing the ID selector, which is the pound or hash symbol. Immediately after the ID selector, we need to enter our unique ID name. In this example, my first paragraph has an ID of first dash paragraph. So I'll type this right here after the hash symbol. Next, as with any other CSS selector, I'll type a pair of curly braces, inside which I'll enter my CSS styles. Now that I've selected my unique ID, I'll give it some basic styling by changing its color to red. If we take a look in the browser, we can see that our first paragraph is now red, while the other two remain as the default black text color. To demonstrate this once more, let's also give our third paragraph an ID attribute over in our HTML, this time of third dash paragraph. Back in our CSS, let's use the ID selector, the pound or hash symbol, followed by the name, third paragraph, and a pair of curly braces. And for this ID, I'll use a different text color of blue. As we can see in the browser, our third paragraph is now blue because we've given it a unique ID in our HTML and then targeted this ID using the ID selector in our CSS and changed its color to blue. Before wrapping up this video, I briefly want to touch on the topic of specificity in CSS. Specificity refers to the way that browsers decide which CSS styles are relevant to a particular HTML element, and therefore, which styles are actually applied. To demonstrate how this works with IDs, I'm going to add a few more paragraphs to my example. So below my third paragraph here, I'll add in another paragraph element. This is another paragraph. And then I'm gonna copy and paste that a few more times below. Just to take things back a step, I'm going to comment out these two ID selector CSS rules just for a moment. As we can see in the browser, we now have several paragraphs, all with the default text color of black. If I wanted to change the color of all of my paragraph elements, I'd use a CSS type selector to target all of the P or paragraph elements in my HTML. I could then give these a color of green, for example. As we can see in the browser, all of my paragraphs are now green because we've targeted all elements of this type, a paragraph, in our CSS. If I add our ID selector rules back in, we can see that all elements with a type of P or paragraph are colored green However, the two elements with unique IDs 
keep their specified red and blue text colors. This is because the ID selector is more specific than the type selector in CSS. The browser begins by looking at the default styles. Next, it looks for type selectors and applies any styles relevant to those elements. After type, it looks for class selectors. If it finds any, it applies those rules to the appropriate elements. Finally, it looks for ID selectors and applies those CSS rules to any applicable elements. In our example, we've overridden the default styling by using the P type selector and given all of our paragraphs a color of green. We haven't used any class selectors, so the browser skips over this onto our ID selectors. The browser decides that our ID selectors are more specific than our type selectors, which makes our first and third paragraphs red and blue. This was a very brief overview but understanding that ID selectors are the most specific selector allows you to apply unique styling to specific HTML elements while overriding any previous styling applied with either type or class selectors. That just about covers the basics of how to add CSS styles to HTML elements using the ID attribute. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.